And I love fake radio. That's the only thing to do it. Like, there's nobody. Fake radio. And I said it. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky, Dirty Money, Young Money, The Mistress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what up, Fake? What up, man? What up, bro? What's good? How, how you feeling, man? First of all, thanks for calling in, man. We really appreciate you taking the time out to holler at us. Oh, man, no doubt, man. I'm shooting a video right now. I'm feeling good. You know? That's that's what's up. What video are you shooting? We shooting a joint off my mixtape. Um, they come out tomorrow. Mr. Waters called Loving You Like Me. We got a few ladies in here. We got it popping. It's a good look. That's what's up, man. I uh, just uh, have my, my my co-host say what's up. Hi, Def in the building. What's up, Bird? What, I, what up, baby? I'm pretty sure yeah. we're going to get clips you. of that video. What'd you say? What? I'm pretty sure we're going to get clips of that video from your Twitter. You need to send them to State TV so we can get them up there. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I appreciate that. Love. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Uh, you, we, we, we see that you got the video so amazing out there with Natalie Nunn. Um, <laughs> how did you hook up yeah. with <laughs> How did you hook up with her for that? Um, you know, that's the homie, you know what I'm saying? I've known her for a minute. Like, we've been cool or whatever. And um, we hang out at parties and we chill. So she like family. So we just end up doing a video. And, and a lot of people were acting like that we were dating, something like that. So we just like, fuck it, let's just go and do a video. <laughs> okay, so you're not dating. <laughs> so, so you're not dating, though? Hell no, nah. I ain't. We 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 never did anything sexual or nothing like that. Our our relationship is is strictly friendly. Wow. Okay. All right. So a lot of people may not know, man. You're 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 a really you know young guy. You're 25, right? And you've been in the Four. game for like 10. You're 24. Okay. And you and you've been yeah. in the game for like 10 10 years, man. Strong. So like since yeah. you've been in the game so long, what is the most important thing that you feel you learned about the business? Just to be aware of the business and then be humble, you know, and just to be focused at all times, you know. That's that's the most important thing for me, you know what I'm saying, just to be about your business and to be humble and just respect people in the game. Okay. And we we know, we know you, you've been around a lot of legends, and, you know, you're coming to be a, like a legend in the game yourself. So what do you have any, any like, big like, name people give you any advice that you that you remember and that you kind of took to heart? I mean, everybody from DMX to 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 all the Eve to everybody that I've been around with and left me with good good memories. You know, like I don't really look at like and say like somebody give you a some advice and like that'll just be the straight message. I just look at way people carry themselves, how they do that, and how they allow me to be around them, and I take that as well, man, as well. Okay, all right, that's what's up, man. So, um, if, for the people that don't know exactly, what label and everything are you signed to? Um, I was I I am I'm signing myself first and foremost and this um Young Boss Music Group and like we put out all my records through my label and then right now I got a whole bunch of different things happen. I just recently got off Epic off Sony Records or whatever. So they let me go, I'm a free agent, let me go scot free. So I got like four different deals on the table. Shout out to Jim Jones, he won the executive to do for my album. Shout out to everybody out there that, that that's really they got like these deals on the table that's making it pop for me. Wow, that's what's up, man. Um, good luck with that. But um, also, wait, what do you think is, uh, like, a lot of artists seem to be, you know, leaving the major label situation. You know, why Why is that? Um, I guess they, they look for that to define them and what they do. But my thing is, like, I, I work and I work hard within my own team and my own realm, and we put out good music, and it's available for people immediately. So I don't have to go through the chain of command. I have to do that. So that's a that's a great position to be in as well. Okay. All right. That's what's up. And, and your your album is gonna be named Mr. Ward, right? Nah, that's my mixtape. It coming out tomorrow, March seventeenth. It's called Mr. Ward. My album it, it, it's it's untitled right now. It comes out in fall. And we got crazy joints from that. But on Mr. Ward, we got crazy joints and crazy features from everybody in the game: Pleasure P, Roscoe Dash, Ray J. Um and uh, Diamond, a little scrappy, Briscoe, Young Chris, Detail, um, Shouty Low, um, it's just a whole bunch of people, and that's a good, it's a good offering. I'm allowing, you know, what I'm saying, to giving out to the people. That's what's up, man. And 
That's what's up, man. Um, I noticed, like, on a, a lot of your, your your big records, you you have a lot of great melodies. Like, how do you come up with these melodies? Do you play um, instruments or anything like that? Nah, man. I'm just. It just sucks. Like I'm a walking jukebox. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being cocky with it or nothing like that. Like I just. I just come out with joints, you know what I'm saying? I just listen to the music and I let it speak to me. So at the end of the day, like, I just am blessed to be in that position. Okay. All right, that's what's up, man. So, um, and we recently, uh, you know, so Hello? Hello? I'm still Yo. here. Uh, what what big name producers have you worked with on your mixtape and um on your album that's coming out? Hold on one second, we got we lost and we disconnected. Hold on one second. Reconnect. You are now listening to stateradio dot com. Berg is on the line. Yeah. So Berg is back Berg on the line. Back? Yeah, hello? Yeah. Um, I think we lost Antoine, but um, what are some of the big-name producers you've worked with or um, just producers you work with on your mixtape that's coming out tomorrow and on your album in the fall? Um, well, me, you know, I produce a lot of my music myself. A lot of people didn't know I produce all the that I came out with. And um wrote those records as well. But as far as production on the mixtape, I got um well of course me and my partner here, the producer, and then all of that drummer boy, Lex Luger, um, and a few other people that's on the mixtape as well. As far as the album it's pretty much in house, but as far as features, um, I got Sean Kingston, and then me and Ray J got a special joint, it's Sexy Can I Part Two. It's called Girl I Wanna Know and it's produced by Detail. So that's one of the singles. That's the first single off my album, as well as the Roscoe Dash record. We're releasing two singles but at the same time. It's the one Roscoe Dash for the clubs and then Sexy Can I Part Two for yeah. That's what's up. Um, another question I really wanted to ask you that's like been hot on Twitter right now is um it's been a big big controversy about um you being on one oh six apart freestyle Friday. How do you feel about the outcome of the whole freestyle battle and the Amy Miller and G Baby situation. <laughs> it's really been a controversy about that on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just picked who, who I thought who I thought were. You know, I thought that um I thought that both of them went good, went hard during the first round. But I think that on the second round with the props and everything the homegirl had going, she she ended up making it happen for me. You know, and that was who I picked. Okay, <laughs> that's what's up. So, what inspires you when you get into the booth? Like, what, what, what is one of your rituals you go through? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do you do yoga? What is? <laughs> I smoke. I drink, and I, and I and I just listen to the music and I let the beat tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. And after that, and all the, after that, it, it just happens. Like it, like it's no telling. I do these records because, like, with this mixtape and just with other projects that I'm releasing out, I just go in the studio and I just go and I block out some nights and I do, like, ten songs in one night. Just like the other night, I did nine records. And it's just like, that just inspires a mixtape. And it's like, all right, here's the start of this mixtape. But other times it'll be songs for Diddy, Last Train of Paris, or it could be songs for Roscoe Dash, or it could be songs for Leighton Easter from Gossip Girl. Or it could just be songs for anybody that I'm working with. Okay. What can the people or what can your fans expect from your music now? Like, is it a different sound or is it what they're used to, the same young bird that they're used to? Um, It's the same, but it, it it's just mature, you know? Like, I'm not the same person I was when y'all were hearing those records, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same type of content, the same type of music, but I'm 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 touching on deeper deeper aspects and the production is just way out of this world. Like the music, the beats, the, the, the energy, the the melodies that's on these projects is just out of this world that I'm working on and I'm just so happy to be a part of it. I'm just real humble just to be just to be me, you know, at the end of the day. Well hopefully I can get to bump into you. Are you going to be going to the core retreat in Miami this May? I know you were supposed to come down um to Orlando for the core retreat. 
Oh, yeah, for sure. Shout out Tony Neal. That's my family. That's my people. So I'll definitely be at the core retreat, and it's going to run down real heavy. Oh, that's what's up. Um, I'm not sure what happened to Antoine. We had just gotten to your music. Um, it's so amazing. And um, people were no, checking um, it out. I got, I, I, I got cut off. I'm back, though. <laughs> yeah, it's so amazing, man. That joint crazy. Shout out to Mr. Ward mixtape. That's off the um, mixtape as well. Shout out to Nelly Nine being in the video. And um, I appreciate all that love that she gave me for being featured on that little project as well. Yeah, no doubt, this man. video, um, look, look, yeah, I got a video that's called Loving You Like Me that we're shooting right now, and the whole thing is, like, I'm going on my M&M, like, I'm poking fun at all the things that go on, so, like, this girl, a beautiful young woman, she's the love interest in the video, and it's like, she has a voodoo doll, and, like, she's, like, creating all these instances, whether it be naked pictures or people with my chain and things of that nature, like, she's making all that happen behind the scenes. So y'all got to be on the lookout because this video is going to be incredible and it comes out next week. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I'll, I'll be definitely looking forward to that, man. We're going to put it up there on State TV, most definitely. They got but, the yo, voodoo like- dogs. Nigga got tats- he got tattoos on his face and all type of stuff. He, like, they're really trying to make it like it's me. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that's what's up. Well, Alina, I appreciate y'all's time, but what I want to let everybody know that's listening right now is that I represent millions of people that just been through the fire, that been through anything in the world. Like, at the end of the day, it don't matter if you're a janitor and your boss is giving you shit at the end of the day, or it don't matter if you're a, a student that's going to Harvard that's trying to get their doctors or their lawyers and they're not able to make it happen immediately when they want to. All you got to do is stay down, stay focused, and keep your eyes on the prize and just work your ass off, and you'll be able to be here and then be doing the things that I'm doing right now, and I'm a living testimony for that. So that's my message. That's what I want people to know. Stay down, whatever you're passionate about. Make that shit happen, and you're going to be here. Believe that. That's what's up, man. I, I don't I don't know why I keep getting cut off, <laughs> but a, a lot of people don't know that you that you did um a lot of writing on the last train to Paris, and um like how you know how did you connect with Diddy you know uh, to to make that happen? Good music, man. You know he was he was a, he was feeling what I had coming out, and then we went and linked up with him, and then I was able to just contribute, you know, and I'm just happy to be able to do that, you know what I'm saying? Good music brings good people together at the end of the day. That's what's up. What, what is Diddy like in the studio? Like, you guys, like, stay in the studio all night, just drinking C-Rock and stuff like that? Yeah, whatever you expected, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to call him, man. Uh, 714, what's up? What's going on? You on the line with Young Berg in the building. What's going on, 714? All right. Uh, we're going to put you on hold then. I, I got to go back shot. to shooting this video right now. I'm going to get off the phone. I don't want to slow you all up. I got to shoot this video. No problem, man. We, yo, we definitely appreciate you calling in, and you're welcome to call in any time, man. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. Thanks for no calling problem, 